In this video, we're going to do something bodge-tastic. Now, I know that you've been interested when I've been painting plastic parts. There have been quite a few personal emails coming across and saying, Whoa, how did you do that? What's, is it very good? So I bought another tin of this paint just to try out what it would be like on the worst possible panel. Well, fortunately, we've got the African Queen outside and that's absolute mess. So, here, are, here is the, inter the windows around. As you can see, it's broken. It's, uh, it's only the vinyl holding it together. And uh, <coughs> it's got white paint on there, look. Um, big, big, big marks here, big marks here, look. Look at all this. But can we make it look nice? Will the set do the job? Well, let's find out. Now, I'm doing this real time. I've given it a good shake up and it's only 11 degrees today. It's kind of cold and damp and I've got my heating switched off now because, well, I can't find any more wood chips for my boiler. <laughs> that was a bad mistake. So. What will this do? Now, I've steam cleaned this off, but I haven't done anything else. So what I'm gonna do first of all, I'm gonna do something really basic. Now, if you remember on my uh, door trims for the good car, when I changed all the color, all the, uh, the vinyl uh, door trims and side window trims to the same, I used this very special product that was quite expensive to open up the, um, the pores of this vinyl to clean it. Well, I'm not going to do that on this instance. I'm going to do what you guys do. Do it on the cheap. Acetone. I would dilute acetone. Paper towel. So I'm going to clean this off. Like I said, I'm just, I'm just going to give it a really rough carry on. Because I know you guys, look at the dirt, look at the muck in the air. Um, I know you guys don't want to spend a lot of time on things and you want to tidy things up. So what can we get away with? Now like I say, I power wash this off with a steam cleaner, you know, to get the, the big dirt off. But look, you can see that the muck coming off this is really, it's really bad. But, with a bit of luck it'll key in. So let me clean this panel off and then we'll come back. So there you go. I've just cleaned it off. off no fancy preparation. Just a, a steam clean off to get the worst of the dirt off. Will the SEM cover it? Well I don't know. I really have no idea. So let's try it. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do this half here. Because obviously this has got paint on and all sorts of stuff. We'll leave the other half and compare it and we'll have a look at it tomorrow. Now this isn't the cheapest of uh, area soles or whatever you call them. But will it, will it do the job? Well, you can see, perhaps already, that it's, uh, even though it's shiny because it's still wet paint, it's covering pretty well. And again, it's cold. It's cold today, so there's a first coat. Let's see what it looks like tomorrow. So I've just jumped back onto this job. I've just uh, come into my shop this morning. And look at this, just look at this. I mean, I know it's a bit flaky, but I hope you can see the difference in the finish. It's really, really good. I mean, it's a big panel. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take the camera off 
and I'll show you on the bench, we'll compare it to the old one. Maybe this will give you a better comparison between the two. Look at the difference. That paint is absolutely excellent. Look at that. Dry as a bone. Now you can remember this was painted over here. I just need to do another touch up on there, but it doesn't really matter because that's hidden by another piece of trim. But all the little scratches and things, they've come out really, really well, look. Ah, I'm fairly chuffed with that. I mean, it just goes to show you what you can recuperate from a job. So I'm going to finish off these two panels. Oh, I've got the headliner to do today. That is going to be mm, interesting because that's a finished headliner. It's got damp. Anyway, that's beside the point. Um, but I'm going to finish painting these up and I'm going to put them in the back of the car because they absolutely stink. And then uh, they'll be good to fit in and, like I say, making your Land Rover better just with a tin of paint. Honestly, I would really recommend it. Two tins of paint will do a whole car. Like that's on a 110. Alright? So we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.